It's the panel presented by SportCheck. So we bring in Bob Stoffer and Jack Michaels from the Oilers Radio Network and Chris Westcott for Oilers TV to talk about the Oilers, of course, and Peter Shirelli's pre-trade deadline availability as well. So, guys, let's start with the game against Colorado where the stars were the stars. Well, and Edmonton right now has played four pretty good games in a row. Uh, they've won two of them. Uh, they outplayed Arizona and couldn't get a goal against Antti Ranta. And for the most part against Boston, they competed – on even terms for the first 30 minutes, regardless of what the shot clock said. And ultimately, the Bruins were able to wear the Oilers down. Edmonton's a little banged up right now. Their depth at the forward positions with Maroon a little banged up and Kajula sick isn't what it once was. And ultimately, bouncing back off that loss to Boston and withstanding a Colorado comeback, I thought showed some character. So the Oilers can take solace on the fact they've played four good games in a row, heading on a road trip where they're facing three teams desperate for playoff spots. All right, Bob Shirelli spoke ahead of the trade deadline and he had some interesting things to say. They're looking for some fast prospects, some speed. Uh, they're having conversations on multiple players. What did you hear? Well, from my perspective, what's happened here is, you know, Peter Shirelli came in and uh, there was a plan. And the plan was to, to make the Oilers a bigger, heavier, more competitive team for the type of teams we're going to see, like L.A. Uh, and Anaheim down in Southern California. And the game has changed a bit. Uh, I really think that the Oilers recognized this when they drafted Yamamoto last year. I think there was a belief, you know, we, we're going to have to add a little bit of speed, skill, and quickness uh, on the wings moving forward. And I think you can extend that metaphor moving forward for what Peter Shirelli is going to attempt to pull off with the trade deadline. Uh, I do believe, you know, look, it, this is business. So the unrestricted free agents know the lay of the land here in terms of Patrick Maroon and Mark Letestu. Um, I don't think they're primary trade targets for teams, which means they might not move until Sunday, Monday as a result of that because the teams that are going for it might be targeting, frankly, more impactful players, okay? But once we get to Sunday, Monday, the type of players that would come potentially for Edmonton might be prospects a year or two away, but guys that can skate and have got some skill. All right, real quick, guys, because we got a plane to catch because we're headed to California. Three games for the Oilers. Trade deadline coming up. A lot of times players are playing tight, but then once that trade deadline comes, they settle down a bit. What are we expecting from the team on this road trip? Well, and again, I, I think the Oilers have already made a certain transition from recognizing the pain that's associated with knowing they're probably not going to the postseason. They've adjusted now, and they're starting to play better hockey, and they're starting, I, I think, That'll also, you know, as you point out, there'll be another transition once the trade deadline has come and gone because then the team will know that this is the team moving forward for the last 18 or 19 games. So I think there's a couple of transitions being made right now, and the Oilers, fortunately, have started to find their game a little bit. They're playing better. Uh, their penalty kill has been much better. I, I think Edmonton goes on the road now with a sense of embracing that spoiler role. They took a, a critical point from Colorado the other night at Rogers Place. Uh, now it's time to maybe throw a monkey wrench into the plans of a team like Anaheim or San Jose or L.A. One of those three not making the playoffs, and Edmonton could have a say in that. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, Bob and Jack will have the call on the Oilers Radio Network, and I'll have you covered on Oilers TV and EdmontonOilers.com.